Hi everyone, hope you're well. This is a quick update for you because the energies are really big at the moment. So I'm just going to try and explain what's going on. I haven't made complete sense of it myself, but maybe this will give you a few insights. So we've just had the new moon in Gemini on the 18th of June. Um, and my observation of that is that people are really tired. And I think the reason for that, this is physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. Um, there's a lot going on in the atmosphere, in the big energies around us. And that does affect our own um, energetic field, our aura, just like a full moon, you know, affects our uh, moods and our thoughts because we're mostly made up of water. So yeah, the recent new moon a few days ago was a super moon and the next full moon is as well. So the pull is really strong. It's also solstice eve. So wherever you are in the world, we have a solstice tomorrow. And that always represents the pinnacle of something and a turning point. So it's the furthest point that something will go in a particular direction that it can go before things switch around. And the other thing I want to mention is the Schumann resonance. So there's a picture of that here. Um, this is a picture from the 18th of June. Normally the Schumann resonance looks like this, sort of like it's showing frequency, but it had this pattern and um, I've never seen it looking like that before. So the Schumann resonance, as you can see, is recorded in Russia. And it's a measure of the um, energetic frequency of the earth. So it's like the heartbeat of the earth creating these waves of energy, which are read by this um, machine. So this is how it looked on the 18th. It's a definite pattern. It repeats. And I think it's just reflecting these new energies around us. Um, what else? Oh, I looked up. So this picture here with so much going on. So we have this crop circle as well that appeared, Schumann residence, solstice, new moon. I looked up the um, Sabian symbol for the um, new moon. So it was 27 Gemini and the Sabian symbol, there's one for each of the 360 degrees of the zodiac. Um, it's called a gypsy coming out of the forest wherein her tribe is encamped. So what's the meaning of this? What I'm getting really is um, it's about coming out of your safety zone or your comfort zone. It also represents hidden things coming to light. And maybe they've just been kind of brewing for a while, but now is the time for that. And being in Gemini, it's all about talking and listening and communication. So just be aware of conversations you're having or things you overhear could be very um, interesting, sort of far reaching insights. So there's that. Um, what else did I want to say? So yeah, this crop circle appeared just two days ago in Wiltshire, which is the area most of them appear in. Um, I haven't seen much commentary yet on any interpretation of what it means, but I think you can look at these and form your own. What I'm getting from it so far, it did remind me a bit of this symbol, so that in Celtic symbolism is called the Trinity Knot. Um, and whether it's that or not, there's definitely three kind of leaves or petals on this shape, and it's encased in a circle. So for Celtic people and a lot of other traditions, um, the number three was very important. And there was the idea that important or significant things came in threes. So maybe have a look out for that around you. Um, so, you know, traditionally you'd have like body, mind and spirit or the Holy Trinity in the Christian tradition or like earth, sea and sky. Um, yeah, or just things happening in your daily life in threes. And the circle around it to me represents protection. So whatever you're doing or whatever new undertakings you're doing or multitasking at the moment, um, you are supported and protected in that. So that's one of the messages from this crop circle. Um, and just to finish off with, I pulled a few cards just to have a bit of insight into all of these strong and very new feeling energies around us. So um, first two are very practical. 
Um, this is the Four of Pentacles. So it's saying your mind is very much on just practical day-to-day -day things and survival. And Four of Swords is saying this um, Four of Pentacles is very fatiguing. It's become very, very draining, mentally fatiguing. So the most important thing at the moment before you try and move on and do huge, big new things, maybe these endeavours within the circle is to rest, rest your body, rest your mind, um, give yourself peace, give yourself space, headspace to sort things out and um, allow new things to come in. So rest is extremely important now because the next card after that is the world. This is where things really open up in a big way, huge opportunities, big moves, big steps, and you want to get your mind into a good, balanced, focused, positive state before you really go out and take on the world again, whatever your big upcoming plans are. Um, yeah because it's saying once you get up from here, once you get going, it's going to be big. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and I'll talk again soon. Bye everyone.